Welcome back to another episode of Red Hawk Media. Today we're taking a look at Times Square, and we're going to take a lot of the poster work that's in Times Square, a lot of the signage, digital signage, and whatnot, and we're going to switch it out with our own pictures. Um, to do that, we're going to use a variety of tools that are underneath the transform feature, a lot of tools that often get overlooked. Okay, to begin with, I dropped this big red letter X in the middle of the uh, Times Square here, and I'm going to take that and I'm going to apply it to all of the pictures that you are going to be changing here to get a little practice with this. So to begin with, I've got a text layer. I won't be able to use a lot of the free transform tools on the text layer. Um, if I go and right click after clicking Command T, you can see that some of them are not available like distort, perspective. Those are ones that will be really useful to me. So um, what I have to do is I have to actually rasterize the text. So I'll show you what that looks like. Let's go ahead and cancel that Command T option. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my layer over here and I'm going to rasterize the type. Now at this point I can move this around and I can start to get it set up. Let's say we want to replace Walt Disney's digital signage there. I'm going to hit Command T or Control T if you're on a PC. And then I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to Skew and we can see how this one works. This is one of the many transform features that's available. So I've got a skew. Okay. Now with skew, I can grab the corners and I can drag them roughly into position here. Now it takes a few times of dragging these corners actually to get the full perspective the way we want. So you're going to be patient, line these things up a little bit, and then you can bring them in and fine tune the adjustments. So now I'm going to bring this one in and you can see going working around the corners here, that uh, I can get this adjusted so it looks like it's sitting right on the poster um, for Disney. Of course, this picture is going to pose a problem because of the, uh, the Disney sign that's in front. So I would want to actually cut that out so that it looks like the X is behind there. Okay? So that's the first picture that I'd like you to actually take care of here. Um, let's go ahead and just uh, do a Command-J to uh, duplicate this layer. Okay. And first I'm going to accept the changes I made, and then let's go Command-J, boom. We've got a bunch of posters that are kind of in the same line here, so I can use this again. Take the Move tool, let's slide this over. Okay, um, Let's skip the one down here so we don't end up with an interesting kind of XX, triple X situation here. All right, And uh, we're going to go ahead with this layer, and we're going to go to Command-T. Okay, and I'm going to right click on it, and I'll, let's go to distort this time. All right, now from here, let's uh, go ahead and grab Mama Mia. That's the one that we're going to work with here. And we're going to distort this so that it actually works out with Mama Mia. All right, we'll bring this down to the corners, bring this over, okay, and manipulate that around here. Little by little, fitting that in there making these adjustments. Now, you can see when it's already on a tilt here that it's a little bit more challenging to get to the perspective that you need. You can still do it. Um, it probably would have been easier for me to start with an actual X. That way I can actually use the corners to line them up in there. But we still get that perspective effect with the distort tool. So I use skew, then I use distort. So those are two different options here. Let's go ahead and accept those changes. That's the other picture we're going to swap out. Let's go ahead and click Start there. And let's uh, go ahead and put another letter X on here from scratch. So I'm going to just create my text box nice and big here. Let's type a big X. Okay. And now let's get to my Move tool. And from here, this is going to be our little challenge picture because it's broken up into frames. Let's go ahead and rasterize our tab text here. Boom or rasterizer type. And then we're going to go Command-T, right-click. And now we've got other options that are in here, warp, perspective, and that. Uh, for now, skew and distort will work just fine with what I'm doing here. So let's go ahead and drag this roughly up into that area. And then find the line there. I'm going to line this up using the outside frame of the picture to kind of get my alignments here. And bring that up bring that in. We're getting closer here. Nice. Alright. And there we go. Now you can see the problem that this one poses because I've got this picture 
All right, and I've got the black frames that are going through there, so I need you problem solve a way to get that. I'll let you figure that out. That's part of the uh, part of the assignment for you here, unofficially. All right, so I'm going to accept those changes. Boom, that one's on there. Excellent. Now let's go for one that's a little bit more tricky here. Um, this is going back to a previous tutorial that we had. Uh, we've got. Uh, let's create another uh, red letter X. Start off from scratch here. Boom. Drop that in there. Let's get our capital X in there. All right, and get our move tool. Bring that over here. And now we are going to actually free transform this so that it wraps around our sign here. And we can try this a number of different ways so that it fits. Uh, to begin with, let's uh, rasterize our type. There we go. Command T. Let's size it down a little bit because it looks like it's a little too big to actually fit on there. Let's rotate it to get a start. All right, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and start to fit this. Actually, let's keep it square. If you ever need to get back to zero degrees, if you want to move in 15 degree increments, you can hold shift, and that snaps to 15 degree increments. So I can get back to zero. I know that it's straight across then. All right, and let's leave that as is. Bring that over here, Command-T, and let's try our warp. All right, now with the warp, bring this all over here trying to keep our straight lines as much as we can and we're gonna warp this around that sign so that it picks up the curvature of what's going on there and this is going to be a tricky one okay and we got this oh not bad not bad we're getting there now I gotta bring a few of these other points down here. Uh, let's see here, that one, and there's gotta be one over here that I can grab. There it is. Okay, and I'm just trying to find the curve of the sign here. Let's bring that up so it's not quite so curved. Bring that down, and we're getting that in there. Not too bad. Okay, and then this one, not so crazy curved that way. We want to make it a little bit more realistic. Hey, there we go. Nice. We've got back to our straight lines here. This one might be a little crazy out there. And it might have gotten stretched a little... There. Nice. All right, so we've got an X that's actually bent to that, uh, that area. And it picking up the curvature using the warp feature in transform. Okay, uh, what I'd like you to do is uh, the the same exact thing, but I would like you to also, uh, um, you know, switch out the Michael Jackson poster here, uh, switch out the uh, the other poster here, um, and then the hall pass one in the background will be the challenge picture because there's so much going on in front of that. Let's get the Silva versus. Uh, whoever that is there um, but the uh, the actual uh, poster up front here but swap those all out and uh, good luck with that and uh, this has been another episode of Red Hawk Media and thanks for joining us bye